Good morning. This is this is Carl Allen bringing you the latest news from Griffin Radio, your CNN News affiliate. In world news, hours after a massive 8.9 magnitude earthquake rocked Japan, people are now dealing with the aftershocks and dangerous conditions caused by the quake. As government officials survey the massive damage across parts of the country, its capital city is at a standstill. Tsunami waves are sweeping across the rice fields, engulfing towns in northern Japan. A tsunami warning is in effect for at least 20 countries, including Russia, China, Hawaii, and the west coast of the continental U.S. and Canada. In national news, sirens sounded across Hawaii following the most powerful earthquake to hit Japan in at least 100 years. An 8.9 magnitude earthquake shook the country Friday. An eye reporter recorded the tsunami alarms going off in Hawaii overnight. The federal government warns a tsunami could cause damage along Hawaii's coastlines. People there are being encouraged to head inland and toward higher ground. Tsunami warnings have been issued for at least 20 countries, including the U.S. West Coast. In state news, a FedEx plane struck three FedEx trucks in Bakersfield, California on Thursday. According to the FAA, the plane's propeller and wing clipped the trucks that were parked at Meadows Field the National Transportation Safety Board will investigate the accident. The cause of the crash has not been confirmed. No injuries were reported. In local news, San Diego County officials are advising county residents to avoid county beaches, harbors, and piers Friday morning due to hazardous currents following the 8.9 earthquake and tsunami in Japan. <coughs> San Diego Sheriff Department officials were expecting the first waves to hit about 8.41 a.m. in La Jolla and Imperial Beach, at about one to two feet high and advising no surfing, fishing, and boating activity in any San Diego harbors until further notice. The National Weather Service San Diego issued a hazardous weather outlook expecting coastal waters from San Mateo Point to the Mexican border, including San Clemente Island, to face high currents. Weather for the San Diego East County area, today a mix of clouds and sun, high in the low 70s, tonight considerable cloudiness, low in the upper 40s, Tomorrow, some clouds in the morning will give way to mainly sunny skies for the afternoon. Highs in the lower 70s. And currently, at Griffin Radio, the outside temperature is 62 degrees. This has been Carl Allen bringing you the latest news stories from Griffin Radio, your CNN News affiliate. This news has been brought to you by Griffin Radio, your CNN News affiliate. Nice, bro. Sounds good, dog. It's perfect.